June 7th, Guyana joined with stakeholders across the region in celebrating World Food Safety Day through a virtual platform at which several commitments were made by participating entities. In delivering the feature address, Agriculture Minister Zulfikar Mustafa stressed that as we pursue food security as a nation and as a region, we must also ensure that the food we produce is safe for human consumption. Our government, the government of Guyana, shares the ambition of the developing of developing concrete actions to transform our agri-food system, where food produced are consumed, uh, where food that are produced and consumed is safe and nutritious for the population. It is also important to, rec important to recognize that the health of, of our people, animal, and the environment is interconnected and that any safety adverse event, especially not with the incidence of, not with the incidence of flooding being experienced may have an impact on public health, trade and economy. And you know for a fact that right now, the major sector in our country is experiencing severe disruption and that can have a serious impact on our food and the safety of our food. The Agriculture Minister noted that even as Guyana faces a real threat to food safety as a result of the disastrous flood being experienced countrywide, government remains resolute in ensuring that its citizens are provided food that is safe. And we know for a fact that that responsibility lies with our government and the government will do all what it takes to ensure that we have safe food, but also stakeholders and partners must at the same time ensure that all of us work and form ourselves into a partnership so that all of us can provide safe and healthy food for the population. A priority area of focus for this government is to ensure that Guyana is a food and nutritious secure nation. And before we can have a secure food security, we must have safe food, safe production of food. One aspect of this entails strengthening our food safety system, which will ensure that all agricultural produce for human consumption is of the highest quality, produced under the strictest of hygienic conditions and are, un, 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 are not capable of causing harm to consumers. According to Minister Mustafa, with the pending establishment of the Guyana Food Safety Authority, government is now seeking to fine-tune its legislative and other provisions to ensure that it is responsive to the needs of the country's populace. This year in our budget, we have budgeted money for that institution, that authority, and that authority will take on its role, rightful role. Um, as I said, there are some final touches to ensure we have already identified um, building for that safe, uh, food safety authority. And I think that that will help tremendously because with the expected development that is built for our country, the Guyana Food Safety Authority will have to play a very important role. The authority will be working closely with the productive sectors such as, the li such as livestock and crops on all actors along the value chain to ensure all food is safe from the farm to when it reaches the table. Minister Mustafa was loud in his praise of Guyana's international partners, singling out the FAO and ICA for their role in supporting agriculture in Guyana. This is especially so in the area of Guyana developing a register of all agriculture producers in pursuit of traceability in the entire production chain. And here again, the FAO, I want to um, commend the work over the years for, of FAO and ICA. And in this stead, FEO and ECA will help, um, partner with us. I know for a fact that we have had many discussions on this and to work to ensure that we can have that registration done and we can have those records in our system so that we can have a traceability system, not only around the urban area, but right across the country. For Guyana to be a food secure nation, there must be safe food available for consumption. Only when food is safe will it meet dietary needs and help ensure that everyone can live an active and healthy life. The agriculture sector has a key role to play in transforming our food system. By adopting a holistic food system approach rather than an individual sector approach, 
we can be more productive, more inclusive of the poor, more environmentally sustainable and resilient, and better equipped to deliver healthy, safe, and nutritious diets to all Guyanese. Among all those stakeholders making presentations in Monday's virtual observance were FAO's Dr. Gillian Smith and ECA's Wilbur Garnett. <music>